15 Things Not To Do In Egypt Egypt is home to dozens of art galleries, museums, fantastic shopping opportunities, and so much more. There's a ton of stuff to do in Egypt, but there is also some danger lingering in the nation's corners. If you want to avoid trouble when you're visiting Egypt, here are some tips to help make sure your trip is nothing but great memories. Number 1. Don't overlook the terrorist threat. By and large, any trip to Egypt will be relatively safe. That being said, the State Department has issued a warning for the potential for terrorist activity in the region. The local government maintains heightened security in areas of high tourist concentration, but the threat still remains. Number 2. Don't go without travel insurance. This isn't to say that you should grab some travel insurance, because Egypt is so super dangerous, travel insurance is just a good idea when you head to any foreign country. It's always best to play it safe, and make sure you're not racked with huge bills in the event something terrible happens. Number 3, don't engage in public displays of affection. It's better to keep your affectionate gestures, behind closed doors to avoid moral policing, and uneasy stares. It means that you should avoid any kind of kissing, even a peck on the cheek, as it may be considered rude. You should also avoid hugging, too. Number 4, don't dismiss the idea of a tour guide. Even if you've got a little bit of world travel experience, you still might find that the country is still a pretty confusing place to traverse. That's why it might be a good idea, to enlist someone who is familiar with the terrain. It might not even cost, as much as you'd think. Number 5, don't wear sleeveless t-shirts. Except when you're visiting some of Egypt's coastal cities, the locals are a little more amenable, if you stick to more moderate clothing. Men should avoid sleeveless t-shirts, and women should consider going the extra step of avoiding shorts, as well. Number 6, don't pay sticker price for anything. In Egypt, they expect you to do a little bit of haggling for pretty much anything you can buy. Whether you're picking up a pack of smokes, or you're picking out a souvenir, the merchants will expect a little bit of sport before the final purchase is made. It's expected, just go with it. Number 7, don't cross the streets by yourself. The traffic in Cairo is chaotic. A lot of the times, there are few traffic signals, and mostly, those are just suggestions more than anything else. The cars won't stop for you, either. So, it takes a skilled hand when it comes to crossing the streets in busy cities. Fortunately, you can either follow an Egyptian as he or she crosses the street or someone will help you. They really are a nice people. Number 8, don't hire people on the street. When you're in the most popular areas of tourist activity, you might be approached by strangers offering a special tour of a specific site. Don't take them up on it. Hiring a guide is a good idea, but go through registered sources. Number 9. Don't forget to leave a tip. One of the biggest variables, when you're traveling abroad, is the social custom of whether or not to leave a tip. In Egypt, you should not only leave a tip when you're in a restaurant, but you should also leave a little bit of gratuity in clothing shops, or any number of commercial outlets. Number 10. Don't pet stray dogs or cats. When you're in highly populated urban areas, you're likely to run across the occasional stray cat, or a pack of stray dogs. They might look like they're in need of some snuggles, but they might also be carrying infectious diseases. It's best to simply move on past them. Number 11. Don't drink on the street. Though you might be inclined to let loose, because you're on vacation, don't drink any alcohol in the street. Not only it is universally unacceptable from a social standpoint, but in some of the countries like Egypt, you might also be committing a crime. Number 12, don't get into a cab without talking to the driver. Before you take a taxi, you should make sure that you know what a reasonable fare for your trip will be. Then, decide on that price with the cabbie before you actually get in the car. 
If the taxi has a meter, make sure it's working before you commit to a ride. Number 13, don't drink the tap water. It's best to stick to bottled water, as opposed to drinking the potentially contaminated water in Egypt. You don't want to run the risk of picking up a disease, while you're on vacation after all. Number 14, don't go taking photos without asking. If you're visiting a particularly beautiful location in Egypt, don't just assume you can pull out a camera and start snapping photos. If the people around you are taking photos, then you're probably in the clear, but in some instances taking a photo can be considered something of a faux pas. Number 15, don't ride a camel at the pyramids. Those gaudy pom-poms and tassels look rather fetching on the camel, and you couldn't ask for a more magnificent backdrop for your show-off photos than the pyramids. The owner will even tell you his camel is free to get on. It is. It's just getting off that'll cost you whatever cash you've got. There are loads of stables near the Sphinx that arrange trips into the desert. Shop around, prices and the condition of the animals and then decide to go for a camel ride.